Resource Manager Alex Fogg at the Big Dog, a U.S. Air Force vessel sunk in 2021. So where maybe there's a staircase or maybe an open door where there's some nooks and crannies for them to hang out, that's where you want to be looking for them. <laughs> okay, we'll help if we can. All right, cool. <laughs> and I think the universal signal for lionfish, I mean, if I remember correctly, uh, is this mm -hmm. one right here. Yep. yep, all right. Yeah, pretty easy one to pick out. <laughs> Great, so if you can point them out to me, let me know when you see some and I'll make sure to tally it down. Okay, well, I think we should get suited up. The big dog was not a casualty of a hurricane or torpedo. It was intentionally sunk as a part of an artificial reef program. As it comes into view, I'm blown away by its massive size. In regions with featureless sea floors, like the Gulf, structures are sunk as artificial reefs to promote marine life. Like this huge rough-tailed stingray, one of the first creatures we encountered. We see several species that people depend on for food, including grouper and red snapper. So reefs like this don't only support biodiversity, they support us. While artificial reefs here are havens for native fish, they've also become buffet grounds for the invasive lionfish. To start our survey, we head into the ghostly wreck. It really doesn't take long to spot my first lionfish. Three of them, actually. At a distance, their striped bodies blend in with the mangled metal. But up close, they are striking, hypnotic, and unlike any other fish on the reef. As I continue the dive, I tally up more and more invasive lionfish. I'm careful to keep my distance. They're venomous and capable of delivering a potent sting with their spines, so I'm extra wary when checking different compartments and swim throughs. Turns out, they're not at all hard to find here, which is exactly the problem. There are dozens of lionfish down here. In some cases, more than 100 lionfish on one reef site that may be the size of your car. It's unsustainable for a lot of the species that are on those reefs or were on those reefs prior to lionfish showing up. Well, that was cold. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit. chilly. Good fish, though. Yeah, great visibility. All right, well, that was a great dive. Yeah, it was killer. Yeah, we absolutely yeah, awesome. had lionfish down there. Yes, we did. <laughs> we didn't have lionfish 10, 15 years ago. So just adding lionfish to the system totally changes things. They may be preying on fish like uh, red snapper and grouper that we really depend on. Scientists say that on some reefs, lionfish are killing off up to 80% of young fish. And in some Atlantic waters, they make up nearly 40% of the total predator biomass. Not long ago, they made up 0%. This leads us to the question, how did lionfish end up so successful here where they don't belong? And where did they come from? Lionfish occur throughout the Indo-Pacific Oceans, basically from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean throughout the Central Pacific, all the way out to French Polynesia. They have a number of predators in their native range, so no one, no one looks at as lionfish as a nuisance. They look at them as this beautiful ornamental species that everyone wants to have in their fish tank. 